Make up state. Make up yeah, state. Maybe. <laughs> All right, and Poke. All oh, right, yeah. So Poke Lamb does know the Yoshi matchup because he's going Palatina. Poke Lamb has a power. Probably. Nick. I mean, I, I, if he didn't have a Palu, that would shock me to my core. Yeah, I feel like everybody at the point, like, I mean, in Trash area has, like, some type of Palu. All right, but this, admittedly, Yoshi Palu is something that Yoshi has to deal with very frequently. A lot of people counterpick Palu to, against Yoshi. It's, I, it's definitely rough, and it's Palu favored, but it's not that bad. It's not something, like, where Yoshi can't play the game. Um, it's just very tricky to deal with the fact that Palutena outranges you, has a lot of great answers to the things that Yoshi normally excels at. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, if the Palutena isn't, is, is kind of, I'm not going to say being lazy, but if the Palutena doesn't really know their stuff Ooh. against a good Yoshi, it doesn't matter if the character has a good matchup because Yoshi can still play to win. Still yeah, good. and still yeah, Slate lost that stock matching. Um, because that down throw forward air hit him mostly because I'm pretty sure he pressed near out of his hit stun. Um, but yeah, I mean, good stuff coming up from Pokemon. All right, he so the down B didn't break there because it needs all four hits to connect in order for the shield to pop. Um, and that was actually that was good awareness from Pokemon knowing that he didn't get hit by the first um hit, so we could just shield it out. Yeah, like you said, it seems like Pokemon is pretty familiar with the hmm. Yoshi match. Oh, great power shield right there. But Yoshi going deep off stage without a jump? I'm just, I have flashbacks to, um, to John numbers. Because you can footstool Yoshi. You can footstool him off stage. And it's the saddest hmm. and funniest thing in the world. Yeah. So, in that situation, you know, it was, Pokemon was in an awkward position. But... If Pokemon really wanted to, if he's anticipating a deep edge guard where Yoshi is forced to double jump back to the stage, he can intercept. Um, and Yoshi can, you know, play around it by throwing out a move and getting a Phantom Footstool instead. But if he doesn't, he dies at zero. Yeah, and right in Pokemon, you. So one thing Pokemon has been doing, he's been using a lot of explosive flame, and he's been oh. doing like stuff like down throw explosive flame to try to catch like an air dodge away. Um, and I'm interested to see if he. And, you know, if he does get a confirm look at what that'll look like, and that DI? Um, it wasn't DI. Yes, that it was. was. It wasn't directional influence. It was directional synthesis. Oh, okay. I don't, know what <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Yoshi has no jump. This yeah. is actually really scary for him, and these up airs are connecting. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The the aggressive downer is a little bit of a risky play, but it works out for him. That was yeah. so. That was so good. Perfectly timed. Um, I don't even think Pokemon is expected to get hit by that. And it might have been a two frame also. No, it was definitely was a two frame. Um, granted, Yoshi's neutral air is pretty long lasting hitbox, but nonetheless. Yo, these explosive flames are kind of weird, bro. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't I, like, know if I, get, I, get, I get the idea, but. Good awareness from uh, Pokeland that he was, uh, Yoshi had crossed up his shield there, or he was facing away from him, and he didn't have a great out of shield punish in that situation. Yeah, you can see that Pokeland is familiar with the matchup, and he knows what he has to be doing, but at this point, oh, if he had land, if he didn't go pass through the platform, that might have broken the shield. Oh, you, oh, I thought that was, I was I'm like, oh, yeah, you died. Oh, you died. Oh, you didn't die. Oh, no. Oh no, Jade had Slade had to read and just um got the wrong direction. That's so there were like two situations there where yeah, if he had positioned himself a little differently, and I know it's really hard to do those like micro positionings on Wi-Fi. But mm -hmm. in a way, he he definitely could have well it's the sort of thing where he could, Slade could have taken that game. So as we move into game two. He very easy like Pokemon can't rest on his laurels. He has to understand that you know he can get he can have it all taken away from him.
Man. Okay. Um, I wonder what stage we're gonna go to next. And and uh, if I'm Pokey, I'm both I'm probably gonna stay Palu. I don't see um, any reason why you need to change. In terms of stage, I honestly think that Yoshi does really well on every stage, or most stages. Um, depends on what the player is most comfortable with. I'm not. I don't remember where he's been counter. I would actually think maybe Smashville again because I remember that he was counterpicking to Smashville. Uh, I mean, mm. some of the other players. So I think maybe a comfort pick would be in order. Ready? We'll see, though. Yeah, Pokalam I'm going to be sticking with the Palo. I do think it's it's a decent call here. I think his Villager would also do relatively well, but the Palutena, it's a very straightforward game plan. Yeah, and and, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I think uh, Villager does struggle a bit against Yoshi, and Pokalam definitely does have Yoshi experience, so... I would trust I would trust the power decision here. Oh, and, that was such a good way. <clears throat> but as we said, yeah, yeah, this is <clears throat> one of those things where Poka Lamb is just doing these juggles very effectively. Oh, but getting back down to the ground has like Slade's doing a pretty good job of it, especially considering how difficult it can be against Palu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and the <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it's, another thing that we're I'm seeing kind of a little bit there, Yoshi crouching is actually pretty decent against Palu because Yoshi really low profiles when yeah he, he really low profiles when he goes in for a crouch. Um, so there are certain moves that at the very least the timing of the aerials becomes a lot more predictable. Yeah, and then that stock with the double explosive point, but I was gonna say um, oh. one one thing that that um, that. He's, Slade is going to run into a problem with, he's running into a problem with already, is that uh, Palutena gets most of her damage by, like, you know, jumping in the air, doing edge and stuff like that. And, you know, but Yoshi generates a lot of his offense by doing the same thing. And you saw Slade actually, you know, that first stock before he got, he got the explosive flame. And he was doing a lot of these grounded pokes, all these down pokes. He was crouching a lot, right? Like you said, that um, Yoshi's hurt box shifting is pretty good for him. So, um, looks like he was trying that out, but now it's just, you know, it's snowballs a little bit because just trying to generate offense in the game where you're going to have to jump at that was kind of rough in this matchup. Oh, he has no jump. And yeah, waiting for the eggs, knowing that Palutena's big hitbox is going to beat it out. I still don't think he has a jump, but a great air dodge to ledge. Doesn't matter. He's there and ready and waiting. The back air takes out Slade's second stock. And now it's three stocks to one. And wow. This is that, okay, he, it feels like Pokemon has a solid read. He understands the timings that Slade has been going for. So Slade has to mix up those timings. He's been doing a really good job with his movement. His movement has been really tricky. Pretty much every match we've seen him on stream. But maybe the timings have just gotten a little bit more predictable. Oh. <laughs> I thought the, I thought the wind box would push him away enough. I was like, oh, no, don't move like that. Yeah, I mean, y y Yoshi's air jet team. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Negative one hit. <laughs> yeah, Negative one hit. Hit. I was telling you before, there's some times where you just eat the hit and your double jump on and you take enough reduced knockback that you, it's unsafe on hit. Oh yeah, he's doing that eggly on purpose. That's a that's a pretty interesting stall. Um that being said, I feel I'm reading that jump with an, another up Too bad for you. Yeah, and now we're pretty much arriving at the twilight of this set and of the tournament, that last game was very decisive for Pokalam. And so now we have to figure out, we have to under, like like he, uh, Slade has to figure out and understand what's been going wrong for him. What does he need to adjust to? Because he can't keep playing the way he is. Otherwise, Pokalam is just gonna move straight into being the champion with a clean 3-0. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's look, looking pretty tough right now. Pretty tough right now for um, Slade. Wow, yeah, that up smash. And that was that, that dash tag was frames away from connecting, but like. 
a big part of this matchup comes down to the frames, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yoshi has these really quick moves, but so does Palutena, and Palutena's range is just definitely outclasses Yoshi's. Just the fact that she doesn't have a hurt box attached to every single move, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that and that's really where it is, you know. Yoshi throwing his body out there just to try to net some damage, and Palutena's out there throwing out the neutral air. Um, <laughs> Now, I will say that um, Poke the Lamb, okay, now maybe a little bit less so, but for the most part, he's not relying on the neutral there. Um, he's not basically letting it carry him, you know? He knows that just doing neutral air is a, it's a recipe for getting, you know, losing if the opponent knows what they're doing. So he's respecting his opponent and has been mixing up for the most part, although now all of a sudden we're seeing, right as I'm saying this, we're seeing a ton of nerves come out from him. Yeah, but I think one thing that Slade is doing right now is um, he's, uh, Slade is doing a lot of is doing a lot of empty landing, right? Um, jumping a lot, not really throwing out attacks. Um, because one thing you know that that I didn't mention earlier is that you know Paolo throwing out these air to air against Yoshi is pretty it's pretty hard to deal with. So you have to try to bait her to throw something out, and it seems like that's what Slade is trying to do. Um, make Paolo swing first so he can get a punish. <gasps> That was pretty nice. Ooh. And beautiful, just waiting it out. Sharks him underneath the platform with that up there. For the first time in this set, really, Slade has the lead. Let's see if he's able to do much with it, though. Oh, that neutral air is huge. Not quite killing, but honestly, there are so many moves from Palutena, including that up air that could take a stock. Yeah, and we're right back at even. Um, you know, just and, it, and just before, it seemed like, you know, Slade was going to get a little bit of momentum in just, just like that. Um, Slade is now at a, at a uh, tiny bit of a deficit. Yeah, um, we're seeing the consistency from Poka Lamb as he's now just, he's able to get damage, he's able to play neutral well. Um, whereas... I don't know, like, at this point, Slade's game plan is, it started off really good, but, yeah, look at, like, the movement it from, oh, man, look at this movement from both of them, Pokalamp, the way that he's able to use the platforms, and, oh, I think he wanted to go for a, maybe a neutral air there instead, but, ooh, okay. <gasps> okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, Slade's staying on that platform. And up smash for a <laughs> and what this game started off looking so good for uh, Slade, but look at the scoreboard at the bottom. Only 39% in two stocks. Right now, this is just a, a bit of a smackdown. Obviously, like we've seen. Wow, we're in the tournament. We've seen how Slade can play really, really well, and he needs to channel all of that in this instant. Otherwise, he's going to drop here. As Pokalam is playing so well. Every hit is connecting, it feels like. And every time he's put in a bad situation, it just gets worse. And a lot of these down, he's hitting a lot of these down air out of shields. And I didn't know down air dash attack was a thing. Um, but uh, yeah, right now, Slade trying to put on some pressure. Um, I, I like the fact that, so we had seen, oh, wow, great down yeah. smash, but we had seen Pokalam shield the down B on that platform, and every time uh, Slade would, you know, hold down in order to go through it, and it, if he didn't, he actually would have broken the shield, and right there, if he had tried to do that, if he had stayed on the platform, that spot dodge would have absolutely destroyed him, so. But now, oh, look at this, 146%. So many hits from Poka Lamb will kill at this point, but Yoshi has some really powerful early combos. Let's see if maybe he can get a forward tilt, get an up tilt. That's Ooh. the up tilt, but oh, he was going for an air dodge read. Poka Lamb doesn't give it to him. He's still alive, but this is looking really rough for him. Yeah, okay, good, nice bit of attack, you know, get him some invulnerability at the ledge. I can't believe he didn't get hit by that explosive flame. Okay, yeah, yeah, and the uh, play is still alive right now. Yeah, and um, oh, yeah, good, alive, great DI, great DI, great DI. Yeah. So, by, by the way, Slade has had the best DI out of anybody in this tournament. <laughs> like, consistently. He, he DI'd that one. Even though the, 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 that instant back throw can be really hard to 
That's gonna be it, though. No way Di is gonna sit. Yep. Never mind. Yep. Never question the heart of Di. Okay, the and movement. that was. Oh. Okay, that wave dash back, man, making Pokeland. Hold up. on a second here. Okay. What Let's seemed like a lost cause. He's at, he's managed to get him to 69%. It's still gonna be hard. That new shot no, might fine, do he's it. Fine. He's living. He's living. He's living. He's living. Okay. How is he hanging in here? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And the, oh, oh okay. God. Okay. So Ninety seconds. No. That's, oh, that's it. it. That's it. We're going to game. Yo, we're going to game four. Slade. Yo, Slade. That he's living. I screamed. Was so clean. He's living. I screamed. He's living. My man did not get shook at all. Never question the heart of DI. This is exactly why. Okay, everybody out there, you need to know how to DI a lot of these moves. Every <laughs> he, he DI'd every single one of those moves perfectly and lived until two hundred percent. I know Yoshi's heavy, but this is that's what it means, man. That's what it means to know I, how to DI. I when he landed that up smash, even though it didn't kill, I I screamed. I did. I wow. I actually didn't even see him land the forward smash because I was so distracted by the up smash. <laughs> that was hype. That was, I feel like, yo, that was the, that was, that was the hype as I've gotten for a Wi-Fi set all quarantine. Oh my god. My god. Freaking good, dude. That was, that was, wow. That was good. That was really good. Really good stuff by this Slade. Is cool. oh, look at, look, there, look at the stock deficit. I will <laughs> say, yeah, he managed to make this comeback. Um, that was amazing work from Slade. He has, he, admittedly, he has at least Five more Three, games to go. Two, one, but that's a lot of momentum. That's a lot of power that he's managed to wrestle away from Pokeland. So can he continue to do that? I mean, the way he was playing neutral, the way he was playing the game at the end of that, I mean, it was so good, he was so clean. If he can harness that, turn it into an eternal power source, I could very easily see him taking the whole tournament. Yeah, and one thing that he, he started to play really cautious down the stretch, Right, and you saw Pokelam using a lot of these rain tools, a lot of explosive flames. And what he started to notice was that he like he was he was trying to poke at Palutena safely, and you have to you have to make her you need to find a way to make her swing first, right? He, he caught her with a bunch of waveland backs, a bunch of wavelands on the platform, a bunch of empty land, just to make her just to make Pokelam react. You can make Palu swing first. <laughs> and um, that was great stuff. Like, that that neutral B is actually it is a disjoint. It's one of your silly disjoints, as we saw right there. He managed to outspace the uh, the ba the dash attack with it. That back air is not going to do it. But here we have wow. our way up there. What? Yo, those ones that momentum change with that. Blade is just a great position for Can he continue it though? Oh, he's still living. Just the tip of that up smash connected. And once again, the DI, we're seeing the DI from him. It's yeah. so good, but no man, a DI is going to save from that back air. And he's only managed to tack on 5%. Yeah, and let's see if uh, Pokemon can regain a little bit of momentum. Is that a I'm um, doing these mirrors. Um, and let's see if oh, oh, we will got, go for a lot of these confirmed combos. Well, Pokemon has been doing out of these grabs now. He's going for stuff like that and not another confirmed stuff, right? Let's see if he can maybe put on some cool damage from now on. Right now, we can Oh, there it is. No. I warned you. I warned you. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> what? No, that one I think I, that very easily could have been on purpose because he dropped from the ledge to do it. Got I don't know. I didn't. Did he throw out an aerial when he did it? Yes, he did. It, it, it's whatever. Oh, he did. Either okay. way, either way, Pokeland put on pressure and he died. So. Yeah, it, it, that, that's why going off stage, like an overextension like that, can be super risky as Yoshi. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is not terrible for him. I mean, look at this: 125 percent on Palutena. One good hit. That was a good roll. Smash. One edge guard. Oh, he's getting a little too hungry for it. Wow. I didn't hit him. Down 48%. This is nothing. No, you saw what happened last game. He was down like three stocks in a three stock game. 
Okay, but I will say, it seems like Pokelam has learned his lesson a little bit. One thing about last time is he was being maybe a little bit too patient, like hanging back, not trying to commit, wow. like, you know, break into his stuff. Yo. Okay. Caught that. He caught his jump with that up smash, by the way. Okay, and Pokemon staying, staying away from the auto reticle. Could be huge. Great air dodge onto the ground. He needs to watch out with the auto reticle because if he slips through it, oh. again. Oh, that, oh, that stars! Once again, the good DI coming in clutch here. At 159%, he's forced to grab the ledge. <gasps> that might be it. How's he gonna land? Get the lead. Run! Wow! Once again, Slade living, Slade living, Slade living, and making Pokemon make a tough make a tough decision, and at the last stock, and he's making he's making Pokemon at the end of the end of, at the end of the game make these decisions on how to land. He's making him really nervous, and that's the second time in a row where he made him make a very tough decision landing, and it worked out for him both times. It's, and I, I gotta say, I'm seeing a trend, and this is a fun trend. <laughs> Let's see now. This is, this is the sort of thing where this is, I mean, this is momentum. Slade, after what looked like, an, it kind of looked unwinnable for him at m multiple points. And yet here he is managing to bring Pokalam to game five. He does have an entire set after this, but, but he died at 38% and he still won. That just dawned on me. Wow. Wait, did he throw, wait, wait, hold on a second. Did Pokalam yeah, throw out an throw aerial during the footstool? Yeah. Actually, can we see that clip again? I'm, I'm just curious. He threw it down here. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, still, it's an occupational hazard. <laughs> okay, we're going to get the go for them. Oh, okay, yeah, no, he's going villager. Game five, it's, you could say it's late for that, but at the same time, at this point, like Slade kind of figured out the Palutena, and now he's going to have to fight down an entirely different beast. Like Palutena and Villager have just game plans that are nothing alike. And whereas I think that, you know, Pokemon, very smart player, has probably been paying attention, has probably started picking up on those habits that, you know, regardless of who he's playing, he can exploit. And uh, honestly, um, the no jump. No jump. Um, but, um, you know, going back to the main, uh, we're gonna see, right? Because if anything, I feel like this could be a little bit, I know this is his main, but this could be a little bit tougher for, um, Pokemon. Um, because Yoshi is, um, in this matchup, unlike Palo, can actually bully Villager a little bit with his hitboxes up close. So, we're gonna see. Yeah, and one thing, we're now seeing a game plan that, similar to Jeremiah, where he's, going to those platforms, throwing the eggs, trying not to commit or go in when he doesn't have to. And for the most part, it's working out well. Oh, he has no jump. He has no jump. He's dead. He lives the bowling ball, missing him by inches. Oh, the fast fall on that down there actually cap like sort of tripping a uh, puka lamb up and one thing about villager um less of, like as opposed to palatina is that the way he gets kills is totally different as in he might kind of struggle to find the ways to close out a stock reliably mm -hmm. yeah and and what slade is has shown is that he's willing to play this game he's he's very much willing to play this game and um he doesn't care <laughs> he, really, he really doesn't um he's willing to throw these eggs and he, he's pretty good at throwing these eggs at angles which makes people uncomfortable and and also the bounces too bounces are kind of crazy like i don't see a lot of yoshis doing those like weird um bounces when they're all over the ground 150 percent and still kicking 
Pokelam. Oh, that up smash almost connecting. Pokelam is shooting right now. <laughs> He's shooting for his life. <laughs> He's fighting for his life right now. All right, I actually like the idea of setting up that tree as a little bit of a wall. Is he dancing? No. Did he taunt? Did he taunt oh. in the tree? I don't know what happened. I actually think he. I no. Really? What he was trying to do, he was trying to pocket that. He was trying to pocket the eggs and. Was he? I, that almost looked like a taunt, which would have been hilarious. You know, it's pockets. It's pockets. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to hardest. I thought it was the villager dance. Oh well. He's trying to target the pocket in one of those eggs. He got not a crumb. Um, but yeah, no Pokelam right now. Um, up by a considerable amount, and especially the way he's playing. Oh, he's been able to get out of the corner in such an effective way. And granted, Yoshi is not like the best character at trapping people in the corner, given that he doesn't have a lot of disjoints or anything like that. But nonetheless, we've seen how the way that Slate normally does that is with his movement, but Pokalem just finding the right openings where he needs to roll or needs to spot dodge or just dash out of the corner to the point where he, it doesn't feel like he's trapped there very often. Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, looks like almost being caught by the tree. Um, but I'm really sneaky with that axe. Yeah, and keep any and every time Slade gets close, he just busting out that narrow to shield. He'll do it two or three times in a row off the single shot if he has to. Oh, and run up axe. At this point, it's three stocks to one, and that's a hundred and forty-seven percent. But. I, I don't even know how, like, it's it's still going to be a reach for uh, Slate to get the kill. You know? Like, Yoshi, one of his big problems is that in neutral, just straight up in neutral, it's hard to get a kill. But, as we see right there, shielding that neutral there gets a back air of his own and finally takes that first stock. <gasps> Two minutes on the clock. I wasn't even paying attention. This yeah, oh, no, timeout yeah, is okay, absolutely okay, the way for him to win. For, like, what? a good, solid minute. He was just shooting pellets out of the corner. Yeah, but it, this, like, this egg game plan is decent. It's all right, you know, it, it's managing to get a lot of chip damage here and there. But with le under two minutes on the clock, there's going to become a point very soon where he's going to be forced to approach. He's going to be a forced to approach with not a lot of time to make those decisions or find the openings. And at that point... <gasps> He went here. Okay. He's going for these. Oh, okay. He grabs the ledge. I respect it. Um, Going really deep off these because he has to right now. He has to push the envelope. He's at minute 30 right now. Pokemon's still on his second stop. He needs to do something. Oh, he yeah, runs away from it. Oh, okay, he got one. Finally hit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, bro. Look at the clock. You have a minute twelve. Okay. Wow. I don't. I actually don't know why Pokeland chose to approach right there, but that's another stock. Ninety-one percent, but he only has a minute to make this happen. Why did Pokeland? He just got off the Halo platform. In that situation, I think it'd be totally appropriate to wait as long as possible, unless he's oh, hoping that. Oh no! Oh no! That was almost bad. Oh no! There it is. All right. After an amazing tooth and nail, brutal clawing from Slade going all the way through losers, making it to game five, Pokalam though still stands on top, closes out the set in storied fashion, just getting that was, forward smash. That was almost bad. Like if if Slade committed to a forward air off stage, that would have been terrible. Uh no, there are lots of ways where he might have been able to get that get that win. But I also think that Pokalam kind of knew that the way he was going to lose that game was by was with some crazy offstage thing and it felt like he was playing around that relatively effectively. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a what a set. What a set, man. Slade was putting in work. Um after yeah. that after that um game 5 against Joshathan um to bring this to game 5 against Pokalam, making Pokalam go back to his villager after yeah. Losing the first two games to the Pal and then ad adapting um, and taking another two two straight games and making Pokemon go back to the villager. That's a good showing coming out from Slade. Not um, only that, but what? keeping it super close to the villager as well. Was yeah, that the first I, time I, you've I, seen Slade in top eight? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I don't know. I, I feel like he might have entered before, but I don't 
necessarily remember. What region is he from? Do we know? He's New York. I just checked. Yeah, I just checked his thing. Uh, he's from New York. Huh. I mean, he's a Yoshi, so... Yeah. <laughs> Where else would Yoshis come from? Oy. Wow. What a, All right, well, what a nail biter, is, what honestly. Is, it is past midnight also. With oh, the darn. Thursday boys. Yeah, hate it. But congrats to Pokelam. <laughs>